This is the Apollo Light electric scooter. After riding around 100 kilometers on this thing, I want to give you my in-depth review. I'll also tell you why I think this may just be the very best lightweight electric scooter for city commuters that I've tested this far. Do feel free to support our channel by subscribing and if you enjoy the review, give it a thumbs up. In this video I'll be covering speed and acceleration, battery and range, portability, suspension and ride quality, build quality and safety, and finally I'll give you my full verdict overall. Let's take a quick look at the main specs. The light has a top speed of 20 miles per hour, an advertised range of 22 miles per charge, front and rear spring suspension, and it weighs 37 pounds. It has 8.5 inch tires, on the front it's pneumatic and on the rear it's a solid rubber tire. You've got a rear drum brake and a 350 watt motor with a peak output of 500 watts. Apollo advertised a top speed of 20 miles per hour, which is equal to around 32 kilometers per hour. After testing this scooter for a while, I've actually found that I was regularly hitting 36 kilometers per hour. And on occasions, I even went to a peak of around 38 kilometers per hour. With so many different brands overshooting their numbers and estimations, it's nice to get more power than you're promised for a change. Having tested more than a handful of different 350 watt scooters, this is the first one to perform so well in terms of speed. Apollo states that you can reach 15 miles per hour in just around 6.2 seconds. Now I ran multiple acceleration tests and when on a full battery I was actually able to reach this speed in exactly 5 seconds. Now that's impressive. The Apollo light is pretty good at handling inclines. Apollo advertises a 10 degree climbing ability. From my tests it can do that and a little bit more. The GoPro footage you see right now doesn't quite justify how steep this hill actually was, but after running some calculations using Google Earth, it turns out that this hill was actually 13.8 degrees of incline. I was going full throttle in third gear and I was able to make it up, which I found quite impressive. It won't be able to conquer hills like the more expensive Apollo scooters will, but for climbing regular hills here and there, this is perfectly fine. The Apollo light is geared with a 10.2 amp hours battery with Dynavolt cells. Often you will see generic cells being used in the cheaper e-scooters, but through simulated tests, Apollo found that using Dynavolt cells, they could increase performance without affecting the price very much. This should improve battery longevity and minimize the performance cutoff as the battery level gets low. The advertised range of this featherweight is around 22 miles or 35 kilometers per charge. After riding it for a bit more than 100 kilometers, I found that this range translates pretty well over to my real life experience. Some brands share unrealistic range estimations based on these clinically impossible circumstances. Now I did the same 20 mile commute daily over the course of 5 days and every day I was able to make it back home with a little bit of power remaining. During this commute I was riding full throttle in the second gear and occasionally I would swap up to gear 3 to handle inclines. From my experience the battery and range totally deliver. A 22 mile range is incredibly good for a 37 pound scooter and in the three months I've had it, there has been no drop in range whatsoever. The Apollo Light continues to perform, unlike some of the other scooters I've tried, like the Swagger Elite 5, which I quickly noticed had a drop off in top range, most likely due to a poor battery quality. Portability is more important for some than others. Since I recently moved into a new apartment, I absolutely love the fact that this scooter weighs no more than 37 pounds or 17 kilos. Now this allows me to easily fold it together and carry it up a few flights of stairs without putting too much strain on my back. Although scooters like the 9 bud ES2 or the Xiaomi M365 are a little bit lighter, you don't get quite the same amount of power or range. 
actually I haven't been able to find anything that can match the light in terms of performance and weight. I think the closest thing I've seen is the ES4, but there have been dozens reports on the range not holding up and the top speed doesn't match the Apollo light either. The Apollo light folds together nicely into an extremely compact size. You can easily store it in the trunk or bring it on the train thanks to this. The stem has a solid three-way folding mechanism and the stem itself can retract into itself and the handlebars can be folded in as well. In my opinion, this is one of the things that make this scooter so excellent for people who rely on something lightweight and compact but still want solid power and reliable range. Another crucial aspect that directly determines the smoothness of your ride is its ability to absorb shocks and road vibrations. The Apollo light has two systems in place to help with suspension. At the front you have a spring and a 8.5 inch pneumatic tire. At the rear you have a solid rubber tire and dual spring suspension. It's an interesting choice by Apollo to make the rear tire solid because usually that means you have less shock absorption than when you ride on air tires. However, the double spring suspension at the back totally makes up for that and this just results in a even and smooth riding experience. The major advantage of having a rubber tire over an air filled one is that you will never have to worry about flats again. Having only one pneumatic tire seems like a great balance between low maintenance and great suspension. So how does the Apollo light feel to ride? Overall I'm super impressed. It handles moderately bumpy roads with ease and it was even able to handle some trails as well. Now you won't be getting as smooth a ride as with these super high end scooters, but at its price point you won't find much better. Comparing it to popular choices like the ES4 or the M365, the Apollo light once again takes the price in my opinion. Build quality is paramount for your safety. It's so clear to me that Apollo care about the quality of their products and base their design choices on previous user feedback and thorough testing. The overall build feels sturdy while the scooter remains compact. The Apollo Lite uses an upgraded forged aluminum frame which is superior in strength to the regular die cast aluminum you will see on many electric scooters. Forged aluminum is something you will see across the entire Apollo line and to me that's just a huge reassurance of quality. Whereas the folding mechanisms can often be weak points on cheaper scooters, I was actually very satisfied with how firm they felt here on the Apollo Lite. Some of the scooters with foldable handlebars suffer from them like coming loose as you ride fast, but I did not experience that at any point during my testing of this scooter. The adjustable height stem is a nice addition as well. My girlfriend likes to ride at a lower height than I do, so it allows people of all sizes to have a comfortable posture when riding. The three-way stem folding mechanism is stable and easy to use. I personally never really lug it in the middle position, but I guess it can come in handy for some people when carrying it. The folding mechanism feels smoother than the one on the Apollo Explorer, without a doubt. Having a single drum brake feels like enough for a scooter of this power. Now it definitely isn't as smooth as hydraulic brakes, but that can't be expected at this price point. It does feel responsive and allows you to brake sharply, but for slight braking to just slow down a little bit, it does feel a little bit jumpy. But then again, I would always rather have something responsive like this, rather than something that can't brake fast. Now the 10.2 amp hours Dynavolt battery is a wonderful addition that really helps set Apollo apart from the competition and the fact that they use regen braking as well, it just further improves your range. The overall design holds an IP54 rating which means it's tested and approved for riding in light rain and on wet surfaces, so you do have more freedom to ride in different weather conditions than with many other similarly priced models. Apollo is large on quality controls and inspections to ensure you get the optimal experience right out of the box. 
before the scooters are shipped to you, a thorough trip inspection is conducted. A legally binding quality checklist with more than 100 points is completed on every single scooter and Apollo also conducts a pre-shipping calibration before you get your scooter. The only thing I feel Apollo needs to address in the future is their rear mudguards. It seems to be a weak point on some of their scooters, but it definitely isn't a deal breaker for me. However, I'm sure the strength of them could be improved with some extra designing and testing. With rules and regulations coming in around the world, having proper lighting is not only a good idea, it's actually becoming a must in some places. On the Apollo light, you have three lights at the front, one at the wheel and one at each side of the deck. At the rear, you have two lights, also one at each side of the deck. This lighting setup is pretty decent and it allows people in traffic to see you pretty well. If you're riding in the dark and you're having a hard time seeing what's going on, I do recommend getting a powerful headlight that will illuminate the road in front of you a little bit better. I've linked down in the description to a headlight that I recommend. Now the guys over at Wing Lights hooked me up with a few of their lights to place at the ends of the handlebar. Now I really like these. The issue with general e-scooter lighting is that it's often all down at the bottom of the scooter, close to the ground. With wing lights, traffic will have a much better sense of the width of your ride, which means added safety for you. Wing lights also act as turn signals, and with around 75% of bicycle accidents in the UK happening at conjunctions and major turns, getting a pair seems like a no-brainer to me. They work with almost all electric scooters and start at around $25. Overall, the Apollo light is an impressive accomplishment. You are getting so much value for your money, and the market leading 24 month warranty from Apollo scooters is unmatched by pretty much all competitors. The light is an excellent choice for people who want a compact scooter that still packs a punch and provides good range without weighing too much. The attention to detail is obvious and smart design choices throughout is the very reason you're getting so much bang for your buck with this scooter. The Apollo Lite is a big step up from the 9BOT ES scooters and the Xiaomi M365, especially because of the better suspension and the higher top speed. The difference is clear like night and day really. There's a long list of positives and very few negatives with the light. And considering what you're getting, it will be really hard to find something that can match it at this price point. For city riding, the Apollo Lite is an excellent commuting solution. And because it's so reliable, it can actually act as a substitute for using public transport, which will save you money in the long run. Now, for all of these previously mentioned reasons, that's why I think the Apollo Lite is the very best lightweight compact electric scooter for commuting on the market at this point. Alright, that wraps up my review of the Apollo Light. If you have any questions about this scooter, post a comment below and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. If you do decide to go for the Apollo Light or any of the other Apollo scooters, it would be a huge help if you used our affiliate link in the description to support our channel for future reviews. You may also use our coupon code eRideHero to get $100 worth of accessories at checkout. I recommend getting the thumb throttle and some tire sealing for the front tire as well. The support at Apollo is swift and effective, so reach out to them and they'll set you up with just what you need. Also check out our review of the Apollo Explorer. And thank you for watching and happy riding on your next electric scooter.